Boom! What is up, y'all? My name is Clint, and welcome to The Perfect Bag. Today, we are going to be looking at the Venture Ready Pack 26 liter from Bellroy. Super excited. I've been testing this bag as always. This one has gone with me on a personal and work trip, and I put it through its paces, and I'm ready to talk about it with all of you. You know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. We're going to do a full walkthrough of this bag, get into the uh, inside and outside all the nooks and crannies. And at the end of that, I'm gonna give you two things that I love about the bag, two things not so much, and then an overall recommendation. Who is this the perfect bag for? All right, everybody. Let's dive in. So first off, the exterior of this bag, leather free, that Bellroy is a cool company. We're gonna talk a little bit about Bellroy as we get into this. Bellroy is a cool company, very conscientious. This bag is leather free and this exterior material is made from recycled materials. So a beautiful exterior on this bag, comes in a couple of different colors, olive, navy, this black, this is called Midnight, I believe, I think. Uh, but it is a beautiful color. It's a little bit kind of off gray, which is great because as it fades, which all bags do, um, it's not gonna lose any of its shine. Looks really good. You've got some minimalist branding right here. It just says Bellroy. Um, it's hard to convey feel to you through YouTube, um, but it feels really luxurious. It feels super premium. Um, the, the material itself feels nice to hold. It has kind of a crinkle factor to it, like almost the feeling of crepe paper without the cheapness. Don't don't get me the wrong don't get me wrong there. Like a, a really nice feeling to this material. Alright. So on the outside of this bag we've got a lot going on. First off, this fold is not a it's not a pocket. So there is not a pocket on the front of this bag. I'm gonna talk about why that fold exists here in a minute. You have all kinds of fun little attachment points and zipper pulls. So these are little attachment points, but they're also little things that you can hold while you pull the zippers. So pull against makes it easier to pull the zippers across. You've got a little bike light attachment loop right here. On the side of the bag, you have a really nice slim profile. So look at this. It kind of folds right into the bag when not in use, but you can pop it out. You've got a nice bottle holder here. And you've got a little loop here that you can tighten down for really tall items. So this isn't just a bottle pocket. This is also something you can use for tripods, a collapsible fishing pole, etc. So any tall items that you can put in that bottle pocket also can be tied down to the side of the bag. A little extra step there. Really nice thinking from the team at Bellroy. On the side here, we're going to get into the pocket, but I did want to show you that there is not a bottle pocket on this side, so it's a one bottle pocket bag. Okay, all right. Up top here, more attachment points slash zipper holds. So these zipper holds give you something to pull against while you're closing a zipper, but also you can clip things to them. So really, really useful. Let's flip this bag around. All right, you can see here that we have kind of oversized poofy padding here. Feels like a memory foam material very premium, and then a slimmer memory foam in the straps as well with a magnetic sternum strap that is adjustable up and down these little rails. So a uh, very comfortable pack to wear. Bellroy is a super premium brand. We're gonna talk again, I promise, about the brand itself and kind of my thoughts on where this brand fits in the grand scheme of all bag universe. Um, but uh, really cushy, really lush back here, really lush. Um, you've got a very nice grab handle back here. It's, it runs across the whole back of the bag. It's really easy to grip and it's padded and a really nice uh, nylon material. So really good handle on this bag to grab and hold. All right, so I think it's time for us to talk about pockets and, and do the walkthrough of the pockets. But in order to do that, I'm gonna go interior first because I wanna show you one of my favorite features of this bag before we go to camera number two and do the overhead view. So, why is there this kind of funky fold in the bag right here? So we're gonna zip, you can see here, the zipper track runs out and then down. 
So out and then down. So we're going to fold it to the out part, but not the down part. And then we're going to flop over. Okay. So you can see here, well, first off, you can see that this is pretty gorgeous inside. So I promise we're going to do the overhead view, but you can do this where you just flop down and access the pouch and leave the bag sitting like this. And one of the unique features here, this is a, again, I, if I could pick a word to describe Bellroy as a bag maker, I would say thoughtful. Look at this. So this zipper cuts along the bias halfway along this pouch. And so whether you open from the top or whether you flap the panel down, the goods are not going to fall out of the pocket. So I've got a pocket knife in here and I've got a flashlight in here. And both of those are fairly heavy items. Um, and if this was at the zippered top here, then they might just fall out of the bag. So that's a really neat touch here. Impressive. Attention to detail. You gotta love it. All right, let's get into the rest of the bag. So meet me in camera number two. All right, so as promised, here we are in camera number two. Venture. This bag is de designed to go with you. Twists, turns, leaps, and bounds for years to come. Neat little touch there again. Love the thoughtfulness. I want to show you this material up close so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. See how it's got a, a really nice grid pattern? That's a ripstop material, but it's manufactured, again, out of a recycled material. But listen, just feels very, very nice. And then I want to show you these zippers. Look at the shine. Look at the shine of this AquaGuard zipper. Is it possible? To be in love with a zipper? Oh no, look at this thing. Look how nice that looks. Ooh, love it. Okay, all right. So great material, really appreciate what's going on here. Really appreciate this, that you can flop this bag open. Let's go ahead and open it all the rest of the way and finish talking about this main compartment before I show you the other storage section. So. Boom. You've got just about a full clamshell here. It kind of unfolds, as you can see, but not all the way. There's about two inches of uh, fabric that doesn't open down here. Didn't find it to be a problem. All right. So let me take my AirPods Max out of here. Let me take my tech kit out of here, my first aid kit out of here. And then you can see I have a laptop pocket here and a tablet pocket here. So I've got an iPad 11 inch in here and I've got a 14 inch laptop in here. So really nice. And then you've got this pocket over here, which is really useful. I've tossed my gimbal in here, but you could use this as a battery backup pocket um, or to put your charger for your laptop right there. Um, again, really, really thoughtful, really useful, really nicely laid out inside pocket of this venture pack. So really, really useful space. But wait, there's more. You saw this pocket. This is another stretchy pocket. They're semi-transparent. You can see what I've got in here. I've got cords and I've got my battery backup in that pocket. These are stretchy and semi-transparent and just really feels super premium. And then you've got obviously this high contrast cream color with the gray, so a two-tone interior. Again, these choices are really, really premium in feeling. All right, let's talk about the next storage area, and that's up top here. So inside here, you don't just have a pouch, right? So up top here, quick access pouches. Lots of bags have quick access pockets. This one has a quick access organized storage area. It's really nice and it runs the whole thing down to this fold, okay? So inside here, I've got AirPods, I've got wallet. So you can see there's a subdivided pocket here. Then over here, you have two pen holders. So I've put in a Sharpie and a pen and just a little knickknack, but good space here, good amount of space. Yeah, so really useful top pocket here. Maybe the best top pocket that I've ever seen. 
not so subdivided that you have to use it a certain way, but these two subdivisions are really nice and this little wallet pocket was very useful. So that's plenty of storage in a bag, right? Well, there's more. Unbelievable. Look at this on the side here. You flip it over. Look at this. You have another pocket that runs the whole length over here. I've put in another battery bank and charger for it. And you've got a key leash. So you can use this as a secondary quick access over here. Really nice. And it's big enough for a, a smaller sized umbrella or, you know, your keys and really, God, anything you want. I put my phone in there some days. So a really neat quick access pocket. You can see the Bellroy Owl here. Little again, minimalist branding. Okay, so that's it. That's finally all the pockets on this bag. And man, is she a beauty. Let's talk about this thing. Meet me back at camera number one. All right, so you've seen the inside, you've seen the outside, we've done the walkthrough. Let's talk about two things that I love about this bag, two things that could be better, and then a recommendation. Who is this the perfect bag for? All right, so first off, she gorgeous, right? I love the materials on this bag. And that's the first thing I want to talk about. And to do that, I want to talk a little bit about Bellroy and kind of how I see this company. So when I first was getting into bags years ago, my first special bag that wasn't just, you know, bought at Sears or Walmart or wherever we used to buy bags. My first bag was a Maxpedition VersaPack. Okay. So loved that thing really opened my eyes to, I could carry things differently. Things could be more premium. And then as laptops became more popular, I'm dating myself, as laptops became more popular and people started carrying more stuff, not in briefcases, but in backpacks, professional looking backpacks, companies came along like Incase and Book that changed kind of the, the super premium top end of the industry. And then to me, of course, um, but Companies like Bellroy and Nomadic are kind of like this third wave in my mind of bag companies, of super premium. They're making great stuff still. They're not dated at all. They're very current, but they are established. If these were cars, if these bag brands were car makers, Bellroy would be BMW or Mercedes in my mind. Premium. Not the most premium thing you can buy in the world. It's not a Lamborghini. It's not a Maserati. It's not a Bugatti. It's a Mercedes. It has incredible materials. Luxurious feel. You're paying for it, but the quality is great. It's very practical. It's never going to let you down. Um, so that's the first thing I love. The feel of the materials, the feel of the bag, it feels top notch. It feels luxury. So that's the first thing I love. And I'm talking inside and outside down to the details. I told you these zippers, I love them. I love these zippers, the way they catch the light, um, all the materials, the zipper pulls are fantastic. The grab handle is fantastic. Love them. The second thing I love about this bag is this top pocket. When I first saw this top pocket, I said, I don't know. Do I want a big divider in the middle of my quick access pocket? And then I discovered as I used the bag, my quick access pocket was down here. This is where I tossed my phone and tossed my keys. Up here was organized storage. It was like having a little tech pouch up top for easy access without opening. And so you could toss your most frequently used charger up there. You could toss, as I did, a wallet and a pen and anything really, but incredibly useful. So I ended up absolutely loving this whole top pocket situation. Really useful and just well thought out, which is a theme for this bag. Well thought out. All right, as always, I'm gonna give you two things that I didn't like quite as much about the bag. All right, so the first thing I don't like quite as much about the bag is I'm not in love with Bellroy straps, which is such an odd thing for me to say. But I think just like, you know, we said they were Mercedes. 
Maybe you love Mercedes, but you don't like their interior dashboard layout. That's how I feel about the straps from Bellroy. They're not uncomfortable. They're just kind of skinny for me. I'm a little bit of a bigger guy, and I found myself sometimes when I tossed the bag over my shoulder and then went for the left strap, it would get twisted. It would, it, it's just a little bit smaller, doesn't hold its place quite as well, a little bit difficult to put on sometimes, and then it, it just is a little tight up top here, and I'm a bigger guy, and so I like my straps to be a little bit wider at the top than the Bellroy Venture 26 liter is. It's not a deal breaker, and they're, please don't get me wrong, these are not uncomfortable straps. But if I were to kind of improve this bag, I'd space the straps out just a little bit more at the top, give it more of a kind of a yoke feel, um, and uh, make them just a little bit beefier, not as slim. Um, so that's one thing that I would change about this bag. The second thing that I would change about this bag is a, uh, a quibble, which is that the bag doesn't quite stand up on its own. It has a very rigid plate in the back. You can see, I think right here, that's a very rigid back panel, which helps the whole bag hold its shape really well, but it's not quite flat on the bottom, and so you have to load it out kind of exactly right with a heavy item in the bottom pushed up against the front for it to stand up on its own. That's a personal pet peeve of mine. I like my bags to be able to stand um, and not do this at the coffee shop, especially since this right here is such a premium feature of the bag to be able to flop that open and access your items, etc., it you just, again, you have to kind of get things exactly set up in the bag exactly right to get the bag to stand on its own. So that would be my second quibble with this bag. Now, who is this the perfect bag for? This is the perfect bag for a professional who wants to use a bag in the office but also have a bag that would stand up to the abuses of going on a little hiking trip. We're not talking about the Appalachian Trail here, we're talking about a day hike. Or a bag that has enough room to be a little weekender bag or to take with you on a trip along with your roller carry-on bag. This bag is very utilitarian. At 26 liters, it hits that sweet spot of being able to do almost anything you want it to do. But it also has the sexy, professional, sleek look that would be in place in any professional setting. So it could go from a college campus to a law office to, you know, working at Microsoft. It is a very, very good looking bag, a very professional bag, and a very well put together bag. So young professionals looking for something nice that's also fun to own, um, this is your bag. All right. Costs about 250 bucks, so you're paying up, but uh, you're getting quality here. You're not paying just for a brand name, you're paying for high quality materials, innovation, and comfort. All right, so like I said, this is your Mercedes-Benz of the bag world. It's a really nice daily driver, and uh, you're gonna look really, really good in it. All right, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough, I hope you enjoyed the review, and if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments. Everybody, thank you for watching this One Take Bag Review on The Perfect Bag. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.